Up until now, when I've done a video for the behind the scenes music of Club Penguin, I've generally picked a group of songs that are together because of the event that they were part of. You know, they were all in the same mini game or they were all in the same party, stuff like that. This video is a little bit different. It's three songs that are unrelated by how they appeared in Club Penguin, but are related by their theme and by their inspiration. See, when I'm doing contract music or just music in general for a client, I found that the most useful question I can ask is, is there a song that exists already that captures the mood, the action, the emotion that you want out of a completely new song? And three times, this song came up. Uh, it was Powerhouse, a 1937 jazz song by Raymond Scott. And if you don't recognize it by name, hopefully you'll at least recognize it by its tune. that sounded familiar, I'm glad, because Powerhouse was a staple of Saturday morning cartoons of my childhood. Looney Tunes used it all over the place, but it also showed up in Animaniacs or Tom and Jerry. Uh, a large number of cartoons just loved using this. If there was a scene that had kind of an industrial feel to it, or some sort of weird Rube Goldberg device, this strange contraption that shouldn't work but does, Powerhouse, or something inspired by Powerhouse, seems to be what's powering it. But of tish. When the Club Penguin team approached me in 2010 and said, we have this recycling center room that has all these gizmos and gadgets and uh, things that turn trash into other things, and we want to use Powerhouse as an inspirational song for a new piece of music for that room, oh, I was like, all of my training has prepared me for this moment. Later that year, a second opportunity to make a piece of music based on Powerhouse came out in the form of the Brown Puffle. Now, the Brown Puffle had been talked about since 2009. Uh, there was even some question among the team whether or not we would do orange or brown first. We ended up doing orange first. Now, there were a lot of ideas for the Brown Puffle. I think uh, Chef Puffle had been an idea. I personally was a fan of the idea of it being a construction puffle, brown being the color of dirt. It kind of made sense that it would be one to dig in the dirt a lot. Ultimately, this did not end up happening. The brown puffle, as you know, became an inventor puffle. And when the inventor brown puffle was discovered, it was discovered inside a lab. 
the Brown Puffles lab, and they wanted a song to go in there, and again, wanted to be inspired by Powerhouse. So I went the direction this time of going less industrial, more tiny gadgety and cuter, and created this song. time that this came up was for the Club Penguin Christmas party of 2011. There was a member-only room that was a bakery, and it was supposed to have this very hectic feel of cookies being made all over the place, this kind of Christmas craziness of we have to make all these cookies in time before the holidays come. And so again, Powerhouse was referenced, and I made this song in hindsight, I think I would have made it not quite as hectic as it ended up being, but overall, it, it worked as a song. Those were the three powerhouse songs of Club Penguin. And if you like this song as much as I do, I encourage you to look on YouTube at all of the various versions there are of Powerhouse, because there's a lot. There's an 8-bit version that's made to sound like it's part of the Nintendo console from the 80s. There is uh, various versions that have shown up in other media. My favorite is a video from 1939 where Powerhouse is being played entirely with six harmonicas. I'm going to leave a link for that in the video because uh, I just find it hilarious. But uh, yeah, if you like this song, 
please go check them out. If you've never heard this song before, go look at some classic Looney Tunes. Right now, go do that. It's culture. It counts as culture. As always, thank you for watching and waddle on.